Let's have some fun with the split path commandlet. This commandlet is the bee's knees. I have no idea what that means. I just wanted to say it. So you can provide a path to split path and it will do exactly what it says in its name. It will split the path in some way. And you can provide it that path as a value with the path parameter. But I want to use the pipeline because Mario uses pipelines. And if Mario uses pipelines, then they're good enough for me too. So you can pass a string to split path. And if you don't provide any parameters by default, it's just going to provide you the parent path. So it's going to split it and give you the parent. So it removes stuff. And if we use the parent, you'll see that it's just going to give us the same same output. So we're getting the parent uh, path with split path, which can be convenient. What if you want to pull out which drive this path is coming from? You can split the path and just get the drive letter by using the qualifier parameter. Or you can remove the qualifier by using the no qualifier parameter. So that removes the drive and you'll see that we just have the path here. You can also get the end of a path simply by providing leaf. So when I run that, only stuff is displayed. And this is a really cool trick here. So if I remove resolve and I run it, you'll see that it's going to display the leaf as it did up here. You can do it with files as well. It's just going to replace uh, whatever the endpoint, or it's going to show whatever the endpoint is. But if you add resolve to the end of this, let's see what happens. Now, instead of splitting the value that we gave it, it resolved to this wildcard and displayed the leaf items that had the PS1 endpoint. So that's something that you can use with leaf and resolve to pull all the uh, files of a certain type. And let's move on. Is absolute. Now this is a parameter that returns a boolean value. So when I run it, you'll see that this is true. Well, what do we do to make this false? We can give it a path like this. And this is not an absolute path. You'll see that we can we can move through directories using these relative paths so I can explore the current folder that I'm in by putting a dot and a backslash and I can explore the parent of that folder by putting two dots and a backslash and these are relative paths an absolute path has all of the items up to the folder that you're looking at so when we run is absolute here it's false but if we do it here it's true so that's the difference between absolute paths and relative paths and you can use that parameter to find out whether it is or not and that's pretty much it with the split path I just wanted to go into splitting a little bit more because split path does not do this you can use dot net to split paths into chunks if you want to so by putting the string inside of parentheses I can access dot net methods for that string and in this case I put a dot and then use split and I provide it what I would like to split it with. So in this case, I want to split it with backslashes. So when I run that, you'll see that it cuts out all the backslashes and gives me each individual item that, that I split into. So I can put that into a variable. And when I look through stuff now, it's got all the items and I can index into it. So the first item is what they call the qualifier or the drive letter and I can go through each individual folder I can even count how many items that I have as well and you can split with any item in that path so in this case I'm gonna split it at T when I run it that's not very useful but it can be done so at the T in desktop it removes the item that you split it with obviously and here it split it at the T and then the T and stuff so that's how you can split up paths or strings even further it's kind of off topic but I just wanted to throw that in there so that is the split path 
commandlet in PowerShell and a little bit more about splitting strings. And that's it. Thanks for watching.